when I was doing GP2, I had no halo, then they introduced it with the new F2 chassis, and I was completely against it. And I'm not gonna hide it, I was like, no, it's ugly, it does nothing, blah, blah, you know, the, the 80% reaction of people, I think that was. And I was wrong. And I think, you know, I'm happy to admit it today that I'm really thankful we have it. Uh, there has been many proofs of why it was needed. And I think for me, the most uh, impressive is the one of Grosjean when Roma had his crash in Bahrain. I mean, we don't know, but probably he wouldn't be with us uh, today if he didn't have the halo. And there was many other examples with, uh, with Max and Lewis and all those things. So I'm, I'm really for it. I think FIA did a great job with it and I thank them because I'm my personal opinion and it was wrong initially was I was against visibility, to be honest with you. My first test in F2, first few laps, it, it looks weird. It's like you put your finger close to your, to your eyes. You see kind of double because you actually look at it. But when you drive, go out of the pits, one lap, it disappears because you look far away and your eyes kind of cancels it so it's gone gone more safety better for everyone